Hey guys, I have a Discord server. Hey, what's up guys? It's Chippy here and welcome back to a brand new video. And you guys know the series that you know and love where I check out pro players inventories. Well, we're back at it again. And today we're going to be doing Vici Gaming. And next time I think we'll do FaZe. And um, there's a lot of other teams that I want to do. But if you have any suggestions for pro teams or, you know, I guess collectors or whatever who you want me to check out in videos to I guess like showcase their inventories and like check out all the cool skins and like tell you guys which skins are cool which ones suck and whatever um I guess just let me know in the comments down below and today I'm here with the real Aspen Gaming oh my god are you the real Aspen Gaming uh maybe yeah we're here with the real Aspen Gaming all right we're gonna start off by checking out Kaze's inventory so he's part of Vici today we're only gonna be able to check out three players inventories because those are the only three people I could find on on Google so <laughs> Yeah, uh, so we're going to be checking out K's first, and this is his inventory, so let's just go to the second page first just to get all the junk and all the metals out of the way. Look at all these beautiful metals he has. He has the Operation Payback Challenge Coin. Operation Time Logged, 11 minutes. You can tell he put a lot of time into uh, Operation yeah, Payback. Yeah, he grinded Operation. Oh yeah, 11 entire minutes. Ooh, he, he put 7 hours in during Operation Bravo. Alright, anyways, we don't care about those, so we're, we're here to check out his skins, not his medals. So, on the second page, he doesn't really have a whole lot. There's a MAC-10 fade. And then a couple random skins. But we're going to go to the first page where all of his cool skins are. He has a Karambit Doppler Purple Galaxy or Pink Galaxy. I don't even know. Whatever this whatever this phase is, the one that looks like purplish. It's actually a really sick knife, honestly. And then, of course, he has the Stat Trek, a.k.a. Azuma, field tested. And, oh yeah, oh yeah, I almost forgot about this. He has a Factory New Dragon Lore with a, uh, a Fnatic Katowice 2014 sticker. So that's kind of cool, right? A dragon lore? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I think this is probably going to be the lamest inventory we're going to check out today. But dude, he has a freaking Stat Track Neo Noir. He has a really nice knife, a dragon lore. Like, an, like this guy has a pretty decent inventory. And this is probably going to be the low light of the video. So honestly, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 because he has a dragon lore, a, a sick knife, and then just some other really sick skins in general. So dope inventory. I really like your inventory, Kays. You're a nice boy. And you're gonna win the next major. All right, Vici Gaming. I promise you, you're gonna win. Just keep grinding. Yeah, yeah you'll have to beat Tai Lu. And but yeah, I don't know. Once you beat Tai Lu, then you have to beat every good team. Uh, okay. Anyways, <laughs> next up, we're gonna be checking out Advent's inventory. And of course, it's all in Chinese. And there's something called Google Translate. I mean, well, he's literally from China, so like, of course, yeah. it'd be in Chinese. It just makes sense. So, <laughs> and I checked he's out. Really invested in those uh, stickers. There. Yeah, he he picked up a lot of these foil Vici Gaming stickers because they could go up in price, obviously. And he has a souvenir MP9 hot rod. He has just all these cool skins. Wait, did he unbox this? Oh, he might have actually unboxed this. The souvenir MP9 hot rod is actually super cool. Like, you don't see these a lot in the game. You see regular hot rods, but not like the souvenir ones. So whenever you see one, it's always a nice surprise. And this is where it starts getting crazy. All right, so does this? do you think this is just a regular AK-47 case hardened? Um. Or do you think it's something crazy? I think it's going to be something crazy. All like right. Maybe like a partial blue gem. A partial blue gem. That's yeah, what you think. So, min so it's minimal wear. It's an AK-47 case harden. Let's check it out in game. Let's check out this quote unquote partial blue gem. All right. <laughs> and <laughs> it's a scar pattern. <laughs> it's the number of one course. pattern blue gem. And uh, these things go for around $7,000. So this is a $7,000 M like AK. So it's more, I almost said M4. Th this is not an M4. <laughs> this is an AK skin. But this is an op? This is an off, <laughs> yeah. He has the number one pattern minimal wear AK-47 case hardened worth around six to seven thousand dollars, depending on the float. And it actually has a 0 .09 float, so it's a really good float. So it it might even be worth more because it's so close to factory new. But regardless, so this is an absolute dream skin. Like this is literally more insane than Hit Case's entire inventory combined. I love how he has the Cloud Nine sticker. Oh yeah, he, yeah, that's hilarious. He just he has a Cloud Nine sticker. I guess he's a fan of Cloud Nine. That we're on we're on page number two, by the way. <laughs> There's more. Trust me, there's a lot more. There's a souvenir M44 mainframe. Eh, not a big deal. He has a lot of stickers. I guess he's investing, trying to make some profit. Oh yeah, no big deal. An AK-47 red line with four Fnatic Hollows from Katowice 2014. We're gonna keep going. Oh my, well, he has a lot of these. Oh boy. He has a lot of these graffitis. <laughs> Oh my really god. Than those. Damn. Maybe he thought they were going to go up in price because they're so happy. I don't know why he has 50. Maybe someone just gave him them and he accepted it. Or, ah, whatever though. Regardless, he also has a factory new collection of, 
I guess, Boreal Forest Knives. And these are actually worth a lot more um, because they're factory new, I believe. No, never mind. They're not worth that much more, but they, they still look pretty cool in factory new. And he has more stickers, more cases. Just why? Why not, right? You got you to gotta collect those cases. You got to collect those stickers. He has even more of these still happy stickers. Like, so I guess that's to represent that he's just always happy. He has a Deagle Blaze, a lot of cases, you know, nothing too crazy. And oh my God, he has an Op Electric Hive with two Dignitas Hollows from Ketuitsa 2014. $1,500 each, by the way, for those stickers. They're pretty pricey. And he also has an Op Boom with three Vox Hollows and then a regular Vox sticker. All the Catalyst stickers are just so expensive. And then he has an M4A1 as Nitro with like even more Catos. This guy's a skin collector. This guy is not a pro player. He's not a pro player. He's a skin collector using cheats to disguise himself as a pro. I'm just kidding. He's not actually cheating, but this isn't actually his skins. He's just using a skin changer. Yeah, this is just simply a no, it's not a skin changer, but <laughs> <laughs> he has an x-ray with a freaking Titan hollow. Oh my God. And I bet there's probably even crazier skins like later, later down the line. Stat track Emperor one is Blood Tiger with some Caddos. He has a red line with some complexity Caddos. Oh yeah, he has an urban DD power with some more complexity stickers. Like what else? Oh, oh, a couple of Vox ho Vox Hollows on a Statrak AK Wasteland Rebel. No big deal, right? Oh, here we go. And he has his, he has a Statrak M for ONS Cyrex with three I buy Power Hollows, and then yeah, the other sticker doesn't matter. But <laughs> I want to check this out in game. Like this is this is such a crazy yeah, I, skin. The, the, I, these I the, kind of want to see it too. These stickers are like eight thousand dollars each, and he has three of them on a Statrak Factor New M Frey One S Cyrex. And honestly, now that they buffed the the M Frey One S, now this is actually a god tier skin. Uh, this is a god tier play skin now. Obviously, I don't know. These don't really look that great. Like they just don't really st stand out. I mean, they're cool. Obviously, these stickers are extremely expensive, but I don't know, man. If these are a little bit brighter, like they just seem like yeah. they sh they should be a little bit brighter. But eh. I mean, they're, they're just, I like how we're just we're making fun of like I power stickers even though they're the most expensive stickers yeah. in the entire game like eight thousand dollars each like yeah i mean this is still an ins ex this is still a god tier skin this is still insane it's probably worth like five to ten thousand dollars i don't know don't ask me about cattle prices but it's probably five thousand plus easily all right anyways though we're gonna keep going through his inventory he has even more stuff flip knife crimson rub field tested bunch of keys dragon king i just i have to check these oh Cados, here we go. <laughs> I have to check all the skins just in case they're Cados. Oh, here we go. And he has an M4A1S Howl factory M4A1S. He has M4A4. A, he has a factory new Howl, of course. There's no Cados, unfortunately, on the skin, but I mean, dude, he has plenty more Cados to make up for that. All right, moving on, moving on. He has some stickers, no big deal. More Cados. <laughs> he has so many Cado skins. Oh, boy. oh my god, dude, he's just a straight up Cado collector. Damn, four team LDLC stickers on another Cyrex. <laughs> Boy, and then more Cados. Wait, he has another case hardened. This one has Cados, by the way. It has three NIP hollows and then a ESL skull foil. Is this a scar pattern okay, as well? Okay, this, this is going to be a regular one. Yeah, is this going to be a regular AK or is it going to be a blue gem? Oh, okay. It's just yeah. a regular one. Okay. I was going to say, dude, if he had two blue gems. Honestly, though, that actually still looks pretty cool. Like, he still has like three NIP hollows, like on kind of a yellow gem. Honestly, that actually looks pretty dope. All right, here we go. He has a bright water with some with some LDLC stickers. He has a red line with some NIP stickers, bright water with some NIP stickers. He has a guardian with three Titan hollows. Like, dude, <laughs> he has an Orion with three Navi hollows. Oh, these are, this is so much money. All these stickers are worth between like 500 and like $8,000 each. They're all super valuable. Op boom with four Navi hollows. Honestly, this might be close to $100,000 inventory because of all the Kados. Like genuinely, yeah. like this guy right here, like Titan, Titan hollow, Titan hollow. It's like every time we go to a skin, Hellraiser's hollows, there's just always like super crazy, super expensive stickers on it. I mean, the twist doesn't have anything, but the even the acid fade has three Fanatic hollows. Okay, so apparently, um. We're looking at Advent, aka the richest CSGO player, pro player to ever make it to a major. My, my mind is like legitimately blown. Advent definitely has a $100,000 plus inventory. It, it could be way more, but. And the final player we're going to be checking out today is Aumeng. Aumeng? I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but he's from China as well. Let's hop right into it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First skin is a Statrak M4A4 Howl. No Cados, but it does have a Howling Dawn sticker and then an Aw oh Man sticker. Oh well, he man. just got it too because it's not uh, tradable yet. Oh yeah, it actually... Wait. Wait, wait. Not, wait, tradable, not tradable. 10,000 kills. Hmm. Aww. 
So has this guy actually gotten 10,000 legitimate kills in less than a week? Or did he use an exploit? Wait, Wait no, there's literally a stat track conversion tool where you can put all your stat track kills on a different gun. Yeah, yeah never mind. I for no, forget about it. <laughs> I forgot about that <laughs> completely. All right. Anyways, he has a couple of these skins. I presume he unboxed these. Oh, I think these were his three drops, actually, because um, he played this Pick'ems right, and he got all the he got enough points. And he has a lot of his own stickers, because why not, right? You got to invest in your own stickers. All right, and then <laughs> here we go. He has a Stiletto Knife Slaughter Factory New. $400 knife, still pretty solid. I mean, that's based off of this price. I don't know how much it actually is, but still a pretty dope knife. It's Factory New. And this is probably one of the first crazy skins he has in his inventory. A stat track AK-47 Asimov factory new with four Virtus Pro hollows. That these are I don't even know how much these these are probably like these are easily over a thousand dollars each. So it's a fifteen hundred dollar skin with four thousand dollars worth of stickers. To craft this skin, you need fifty five hundred dollars. And remember, this is the M4A4. Remember, this is the AK Asimov. It just came out in the last case. It came out in the Danger Zone case. So yeah, he had to buy these at their current price, essentially, to craft this skin. Pretty, pretty insane. <laughs> the, like, it's a fifty-five hundred dollar AK, and this is like the first crazy thing we've re like we've re we've seen. I mean, there's the Howl, of course, but dude, this is worth more. Maybe. Yeah. No. No. I, I don't. It looks cool though. Look at this skin and tell me Whoa. that doesn't look good. See, with the full. Really it looks amazing, especially with the four Virtus Pro stickers, because they, they're, I mean, they're orange. They have, like, pretty much a very similar orange to the orange on the Asimov. Like, it's the same color scheme as the Asimov, but with a polar bear on it. So, you know, it's, you know, it's badass. Let's move on. Because <laughs> I know people complain, like, oh, Cherbo, your videos are too long. Okay, but, okay. Butterfly Knife Ruby, no big deal, right? Um, he has a bayonet <laughs> ruby. Oh my god, this page right here. Oh, by the way, we forgot. I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to rate Advent's inventory. So, so guys, I actually forgot to rate Advent's inventory. Um, so I'm gonna give Advent a 10 out of 10 flawless inventory. He has a. He has the scar pattern blue gem. He has so many caddos, so many high tier skins. Just gotta give him the 10 out of 10, 100. percent all right. I love how it took you that long to rate his inventory. I forgot to. I well, I <laughs> I forgot about it. But this time on Amang. I'm not, I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, However you I'll, say I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll just call him gold boy. Let's call him gold boy. Cause no. AU, AU is gold and whatever okay, on the periodic table. This guy has a butterfly knife ruby an M9 bayonet ruby, a pair of minimal wear specialist glove fades. Oh, these are so nice. That's so much money. Um, <laughs> he has a pair of field tested Pandora's boxes, which actually look really nice. He has a Thalcha knife fade, because why not, right? AK Empress, M4 Hellfire, Desolate Space, Redline, no Caddos actually, surprisingly. Uh, an AK Bloodsport, a Op Medusa, of course, field tested with a Kenny S sticker, and a USPS Neo Noir, a Briefing, a Rope Baladin, a Terrace, oh, Silver, yeah, yeah. He has a Stat Trek 5.7 case hardened, and I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say this is a blue gem, okay? Let's just. Is this a blue gem or am I an Probably. Uh, it's like a it's like a, it's a really it's, it's a low tier it, blue gem. It's partially a blue gem. Yeah, it's like a half blue gem basically. <laughs> so it's not really worth more than market price. He also has the Stat Track Minimal Wear Desert Eagle Crimson Web, pretty dope skin. Uh he has a Mirtos, a monkey business. Just I'm looking for the stickers mainly. I'm just Oh, here we go. He has oh, a blue fissure with a Titan Hollow. Of course he had to have the he had to have the Cato. All right, Orion, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll finish this page and then we'll check out this AK. Uh, Pandora's Boxes, Neon Rider, Sticks. Ooh, he has a Whiteout, of course. Oh, and he has a default AK with four stickers on it. Oh, wait, wait. You can't forget about the m 41 as Brightwater with the two Team LDLC Hollows from Kedwitsa 2014. These are like three or $4,000 each, I think. I mean, they're probably less, but they're still, they're, they're like $2,000. I, I don't know. I don't know the current prices of all the Catos. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll admit that. This case hardened has three Katowice 2014 hollow stickers. All right, get ready, because this is going to be nice. It's going to be a blue gem. Oh, no, it's not a blue Ooh. gem. Okay. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> it would have been so much better if it was a blue gem. I, know, I swear, I thought 199 was like a blue gem, but it's not. It has a little bit of blue on the mag. It has blue right here, but I mean, I guess it still has three Katowice 2014 hollows, so it's still pretty dope, but... Damn, I thought it was going to be a lot crazier. 
honestly, I mean, this is still a crazy inventory with uh, the rubies, the stat track, howl, everything in between, the insane crafted stat track, aka Asimov, the two dream gloves, the Medusa. Honestly, I'm gonna have to give you boy, gold boy, or Amang. I'll give him a nine out of 10. Not as crazy as Advent, but it's still a pretty insane inventory. And you know, I mean, he is from China, so he's a Chinese collector. You know, <laughs> it's like a stereotype, but it's kind of true. The craziest inventories in CSGO are owned by Chinese collectors. And of course, you know, Vici Gaming is no exception. So thank you guys for watching the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what team you want to see me do next time. So today we did Vici Gaming and next time, uh, well next time I'm planning on doing FaZe but there's a there's a bunch of other teams that I want to do and I, I also have a couple other ideas for this kind of series in the future. So anyways if you enjoyed the video like, comment, share, subscribe, click that bell icon and if you watch the video all the way until the end leave a comment saying hashtag damn this is so this is what happens when chinese co billionaire collectors play csgo competitively <laughs> and if you do that i'll do my best to try to give you guys a heart and just uh overall guys thanks for uh thanks for watching and oh my god is that the real aspen gaming <laughs> awkward silence awkward sounds all right i'll see you guys later anyways guys thanks for watching it's turbo and i'm out peace